guys, welcome back to today's video. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today we are going to be making a Oreo and cheesecake video. Wait, yeah, Oreo and cheesecake video. And but before we get started, make sure you guys give this video a huge like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's get started. We're gonna be making an Oreo cheesecake today. It's very fun and a very easy recipe. Okay, so first I'll go over the ingredients and then we'll get started. Very simple. You need a Oreo pie crust, two uh, two packages of Philadelphia cream cheese, a package of Oreos, um, some sugar, some heavy cream, some milk, and I think that's everything. And I'll of course we'll have the description in the uh, description box below. So we're gonna get started now. So in the mixing bowl, we're gonna put the cream cheese. So we're gonna put two of the cream cheese in there. Yep, in the mixing bowl. And then we just bring it over to my stand mixer. So now we're going to mix this for like a minute until it gets combined and creamy. Alright, so now we add, we're going to add our sugar, which is a half cup. A good half cup of sugar. Put a little bit more. That's good. And then we add a half cup of heavy whipping cream. It's gonna make it nice and creamy. And then a quarter cup of milk. You can use any kind of milk you have, but we have full milk on hand. Mix that for about two minutes until it's nice and creamy. So we're going to scrape down the sides to make sure everything gets mixed together. Now we add the last ingredient, which is two eggs. All right, now we do the fun part. We put the Oreos in. So we just break them up with our hands and the mixer will take care of the rest. Smells good. <laughs> yeah. Now we got the bacon in the oven. That literally looks like melted Oreo ice cream. It does. It looks just like it. I feel like you could just put it in the freezer now and then that's it, that's ice cream. You could do that. <laughs> <laughs> so now we get the pie crust. Yeah. It makes it enough to fill two of these pie crusts or if you have a big cheesecake pan, you can use that. So now we just scoop some of the batter into the pie crust. Sounded like my face cooked in. Oh. And we'll put the right. Looks very good. Thank you. So you already preheated the oven? Yep, 325. And now we just decorate the top with Oreos. So they bake for about 40 minutes and then when they come out of the oven, let them set for an hour on the counter and then refrigerate them overnight. Mm, nice. Refrigerate them. Okay. So we're gonna wait a while and then I'll, and then we're gonna finally show you the finished product. Stay tuned. All right. So I take them out of the oven now after 40 minutes. This is what they look like. Mm. 
Now we let them cool to room temperature, and then we put them in the fridge. How long are you supposed to put them in the fridge for? Overnight. Overnight? Oh, okay. So while the other cakes are going to be in the freezer overnight, we already have a pre-cooked one, already, one that's already made. This is what it comes out looking like after it's set in the fridge. The what? This is what it comes it looks like when it comes out of the fridge. Yes. So now we get to try it out. Yes. Hey. Beautiful. That's so good. All right, let's try it. Tastes very good. You like it? Yeah, the red velvet was creamy and dry. I don't know the red velvet and the Oreo taste. Kind of similar, but this just has a much more creamy taste, and it's just delicious. I give this like a 10. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to finish this, and then I'm going to end the video. All right, so we're going to end the video right here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more cooking videos, comment down below if you got more for what cooking, video, what cooking videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more baking videos, comment down below what baking videos you guys want to see. And yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you guys did, give this video a huge like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.